Right? But I was like, I already started with something. I already did. Are we ready? Are we ready to start? Okay, we talked about scales last week. What were the scales that we went over? Okay, you're all missing one key word though. Minor. Minor, right. So we talked about major. And what are the options of major? Uh, now what causes the scale to be major? The number one the number one reason. Regular three. Regular three in the scale, right? Yeah. So the major scale.
derived from all of these scales completely, right? These are the, this is the core. This is it. Okay, see you guys in December. You'll have a final exam. <laughs> this is the core, the, main, the, one's the major third and one's the minor third, right? Okay, for each, go ahead. Um, later on, would it be possible to go over the thing that you were doing with dividing things by 12? Oh, I didn't really get hey, the last part of that. Don't get me started, eh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whole handout on that, eh? Oh. Yeah, we got it from Minnesota. Oh, oh you bet you did. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to cover all yeah. that. Where do we get all our harmony from for classical music? Major. Yeah, I'm pointing to it. You guys can say major, right? Major. Yeah. 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 Major. Yeah. 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 All right. Also here, right? And then, who started this? Bach. Bach, right? There might have been some people before him, but he probably was the one who people who heard it the most. What did Bach have that he used this scale on the, the most? He had some really wild, huge organ in a building in the middle of the forest, right? Uh -huh. So people heard him play this stuff. And he was a really radical musician, so he was up almost most of the night, every night, in the middle of the night, playing his organ out there in the middle of the forest. So people, people got really scared of him a little bit, huh? Because <laughs> this harmonic minor scales he was using, the diminished scales. In the middle of the forest. In the middle of the forest, in the middle of the Baroque era, which was yeah. like, people didn't hear this kind of music. They just heard really like dainty little major chords the most, right? And here's Bach out here with his diminished scales and his harmonic minor scales on an organ, really loud in the middle of the night. And people were like going. Was it still like a big deal to like go into the forest in general? Well, at that time, it was like... Think about all the myths and legends that kids were taught back in like the 1600s. Mm -hmm. They probably still had huge imaginations about creatures and weird elves and trolls and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So people had sort of a built-in, sort of eerie superstition of the forest anyway, right? Well, like in medieval times, women like weren't allowed to go into the forest. Especially you could not dance in the forest. That was the biggest no-no. Mm -hmm. Like if you danced in the forest, okay. you were okay. a witch and you would... <laughs> so that adds to the effect. Imagine the effect of people hearing Bach out there playing to music scales yeah. in the middle of the night. What do you think, huh? Kind of hard to imagine, you know, in the Middle Ages, or not really just the Baroque here, it's the 1600s. He was out there playing. Anyway, so harmonic minor and then the natural minor was a derivative of the major. That's the whole basis right here is if you have this scale is based on this note here. Relative major, major and minor. Did you guys have that in harmony too? Relative major and minor? Or just stares blankly at me. More or less as they're looking at the freeway. Okay. So the six, sorry, I was including the scale. The six is where you base your relative minor from. Okay? So, how many people know that already? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, if you have a major scale and you start the same major scale on a sixth degree, that becomes the relative minor of that major scale, which is the natural minor scale. Okay, now let me explain this. the major scale, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step link, whole step, whole step, half step. Everybody knows this, I assume. Okay. 
You know this? Yeah. Okay. So, if we were to continue the major scale and keep going in the next octave over here, okay, we would get this. two octave major scale, right? Okay. So if we start on the sixth, we're just displacing it like this. So now we have whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, link, half step, whole step, whole step. For that, starting on the sixth degree. Does that make sense? Yeah. Starting on the sixth, the whole steps and half steps, we should keep the same relationship. But now we have the relationship whole step, half step, whole step. That's different than a major, a major scale, isn't it? Yeah. That's called a minor tetrachord. But it fits into the major scales. Yeah. So if you have this scale here, C, that's the major scale. So if you start on the sixth degree, A, that becomes the A minor scale. It's all the same notes, but we're just starting in a different location. Let me give you another example. Two octaves. Okay. We go to the sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have B. That's our B minor scale, which is the natural minor scale or the Aeolian mode. There's our B minor scale based on the sixth degree. The sixth degree of every major scale produces a natural minor or relative minor. Okay? So anytime you have a major scale, you go to the sixth. And that's, that scales relative minor. Now you're probably saying, wait, what? So I have these handy sheets to hand out to kids. They're very handy. Thank you. 
Except Chuck Berry, he played Johnny B. Good in what key? B flat. B flat. Why? Because he was hanging around horn players, right? And they always play in B flat, don't they? Yeah. They like to anyway. So he said, okay, man, I'll play in B flat. All right. So we're in the key of E. So what is the E major scale? E F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, right? So. What's the sixth note of the E major scale? C sharp. So that becomes a C sharp minor scale. Okay, now in the lower box there, you see all the minor scales separate from the major scales. That's its own module. Because it's considered to be its own module. It's called relative minor, and those are their own standalone minor scales as well. But they're part of the major scale, the parent major scale. Does that make any sense? take a major scale and you go to the sixth, you have your relative minor scale. Okay? Oh. Go ahead. No, no, I just... Okay, so what are the chords in a major scale? What are the chords in a major scale? Major, minor, minor, major. You guys learn that? Minor, minor, minor. Do you know the chart? Let's let's see the chart. No. You like that basic harmony using major triads, right? We have the structure of a scale with chords built on each note. Looks like this. If you have a treble clef, here's E, right? So we 
you got E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C, D, E, right? And our triads are G, B, right? We got this as our chord scale. So we got E major. Let's say it again, A major. What's a two chord? F sharp minor. F sharp minor. Three chord? G sharp minor. And our four chord? A. And our five chord? B. And our six chord's gonna be what? C sharp. C sharp minor, C -sharp minor right? And our seven chord? Symbol for diminished? Circle. 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 Now, some composers like to write D I M just so people know. Okay? So you can write. You can write that sometimes. Okay? So these are our triads on the key of E, right? What's the relative minor of E? C sharp minor. C sharp minor. So you know, this becomes the one chord in the key of C sharp minor, right? right. It's a one minor, right? Starting to make sense? So now the two chord in the C sharp minor is going to be a D sharp diminished, right? So your two and your three chord is going to be what? Well, we have to keep going with our scale. So. C sharp, G sharp, E major. E major, right? And our four chords are going to be what? F sharp minor. F sharp minor. And our five chords are going to be what? G sharp minor. G sharp minor. Six is going to be what? A major. A major. And our seven? Major. Okay, so in a C sharp minor scale, these are going to be our scales, our chords. Okay, so these are our chords in the major key. If you go up to the sixth, if you look on this diagram here, the sixth is this gray column here. That's the sixth degree of the scale, and this is all the minor and roto minors there. So they're two separate modules, but they're interrelated, major and minor relative, which is based on the natural minor scale. So now, let's try figuring out a tune.
Everybody got all this? major, right? Well, wait. What's the first chord? C, C minor 7. C minor 7. Well, how's that relate to being in the key of E flat major? Look on your chart. It's the roll of the minor. It's the what chord of the roll of the minor? It's the sixth chord of E flat major, but it's the one chord of what scale? C minor the C minor scale. So your guess then would be this tune is in the key of C minor. C minor because why? The first chord is C minor, C minor seven, right? And so that's what you so that's what you look for. It's the key of E flat, but the relative minor of E flat is C minor, right? So you got a C minor seven. Okay. So there's your one chord. C minor, and that's your sixth chord in major, right? What's the next chord? F minor seven. F minor seven, okay. So in the key of E flat major, what's your F? Two. Two, two right? All right. So it's a two in major, so what is it in C minor? Four. Four. Okay, so what's the next chord? D minor 7 flat 5. D minor 7 flat 5. What is that? Uh, it's the 2 in C minor. It's the 2 in C minor. Wait a minute, though. Steps what's out. a minor 7 flat 5? Let's take a look at that. What's the formula for minor 7 flat 5? Well, we'll start with root. It's minor, so it's a flat 3, right? So it's flat five, right? So it's a flat five. And it's a minor seven, so it's what kind of seven? A flat seven, right? right. Are you with me? Yeah. <clears throat> so those are your notes in the chord, a minor seven flat five, right? And that, that's also called what? Half diminished. Half diminished, and that's a symbol for half diminished, a circle with a line to it. So those two mean the exact same thing. So a minor seven flat five, now, if you look on your chart, that's the seven chord in the key of E flat major, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or it's the two chord in the key of C minor, right? So we got D minor seven flat five. <coughs> so there's your two chord. And that's your seven chord. after that? G7. G7. Whoa. G7. What's the formula for G7? Root. It's a major, so it's third, right? Then we got fifth. And then we got flat seven. Flat seven. Now, a G7 is a different chord than a G major seven, right? A G major seven doesn't have a flat seven. It's got a major seven. Now, how do we know all these formulas? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> it's easy when you know how. <laughs> you guys, I want you to make sure it's out of these charts. Okay. <laughs> Hats and shirts, definitely. Nice tie. Tie, yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 
To what? C major. Well, wait, but it resolves back down to C minor, right? Yeah. Everybody go like this. Okay. So what's happening here? We got a D minor seven, which is our two chord in minor, going to a five in major, and then back to a one in minor. It goes to the harmonic minor, right? Because it's the regular seven, not the flat seven. Oh, yeah. And now, since you came up with the answer, I'm going to let you pass out the next chart. Everybody? Yeah. yeah. Good honor. Good honor. Yeah. Yeah. You've leveled up. Scales, what are dominant seventh chords? Look at the melodic minor. What do we got? Seven. Seven is dominant seven or what? Four? A four? Never mind. What about harmonic minor? What's a, what's the seven? What's a five seven? Harmonic minor. Five. Five. Uh, five. 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 five chord in harmonic minor? What's that? Oh. Five seven five. Nine. Five seven flat nine. Well, this doesn't have, doesn't go all the way up to nine. This G seven, G seven doesn't have a nine in it, but it's a dominant seventh chord, right? Mm -hmm. But we've been playing in C minor, so what did we do? We sort of stepped into the harmonic minor for one bar. Didn't we? Even though there's not the flat nine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, what do all the jazz guys do when they play blue bossa? Play the flat nine. <laughs> Everybody plays a flat nine and the sharp five. Or even though it's not written. Even though it's not in the real book, they just because they're stepping from natural minor momentarily into harmonic minor. So why not? They just play flat nine, play flat nine sharp five. Okay. I'm going to explain this to Adrian again. Okay. 
on our dirty work for us. Uh, why don't I have enough copies? Because my printer, I think, screwed up this morning on, on the way out the door. I thought I printed all of them. Ran out of paper, ran out of ink. All right, so what do we got here? G7 is a five. Minus five. And C are minor. We got there a two five, right? A two five in harmonic minor. <laughs> so, what's this chord in C harmonic minor? Look on your chart. What's the, what's the harmonic minor scale shows the two chord? <coughs> two minor D. Uh, two minor seven flat five. Hey, wait a minute. So both these chords fit C harmonic minor, don't they? Yeah. So that means for, for soloing or improvising. You have more leeway, you have more headroom to work with, right? You can go C minor here, and then you can go C harmonic minor here, which is one note different than C minor, right? Because the minor has a flat six and a flat seven, and the harmonic minor has a natural six, right? So there's only one note different between the two scales, right? So if you have a C minor scale here, and a C harmonic minor scale here, not too hard to play, is it? Can you play a C minor scale for us? No. Brazil, Latin America. still belongs to the key of C minor, but it also belongs to the key of C harmonic minor, right? So play C harmonic minor scale. Can I play the chord that's on top of it? Play the scale and the chord at the same time. And then D, and then to a G7. Third note is E flat, right? Mm -hmm. Look up at the top, you've got the chord quality major seven. 
So C key of C minor, the three chord is a major seven, isn't it? Yeah. So that E flat minor seven is not E flat major seven, it's a different chord, right? Yeah. So it doesn't belong. E flat minor seven doesn't belong. Who understands all this really well so far? Right? Okay. okay, now we're going to take three minutes here and I want you to explain it to Adrian while I watch. Because <laughs> Adrian was in doing this all the favor. You got to give him a favor. Mm -hmm. And you guys right. probably need to learn to learn it again anyway. Yep. <laughs> so, we were talking about this chart in Blue Boston. Did I give you a copy of that? Yeah, I read it. Okay, so the one chord, the starting chord is C minor 7, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's the one chord in minor, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it goes to an F minor 7. Correct. Which is the four chord in minor, right? All right? Yeah. Now, if you were to go to the parent major scale, <laughs> E flat. That would be the four in E flat, I mean the six in E flat, and the two in E flat. So we understand that so far, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, here's where we get into a different territory. The minor 7 flat 5 is a 2 chord in C minor, right? If you look on here. Because of the notes that fall into that. <coughs> That's what you're saying. If you look on here. Here's, here's C, minor, C, right? Yeah. So here's the 2 chord in the minor 7, right? Yes. So here's the 2 chord in yeah. C minor. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Seven chord major, right? Yes. yes. Uh, so, <laughs> great. Now you can help us out here. So let's go and play that two minor seven flat five. So we're, we're still treating this as a C minor scale. Okay. Or E flat major scale. Okay. Is it relevant? Yeah. So you got a two minor seven flat five. Go ahead and play the two minor seven flat five. Okay. Then play this. Scale over that. Well, that's a harmonic we're going to want to play the C minor yes. scale. Play this chord in the left hand and scale on the right hand. It works, right? Yeah. Okay, now here's the here's the eight ball. We go to a G7. A G7 is a one, three, five, flat seven, right? Okay. Okay. And then in C minor. The five chord is not a G7, is it? If you look on your chart, the minor chord for C minor, yeah. the five chord is going to be a minor seven, isn't it? Yeah. So in the key of C minor, the five is a C minor, so it's a G minor seven. So some people thought <laughs> that we went we went into C major, but we didn't because it goes it goes from C minor to the two chord of C minor. Four chord to two chord, and then back to C minor again it resolves. So we're still in the region of C minor. We're in this sort of dome over the city, right? But somebody stepped out the back door and played a G dominant seven chord instead. So they borrowed from another scale. They borrowed from the C harmonic minor scale. Because if you look at C harmonic minor on this chart, you just did. Yeah. You go to harmonic minor. Uh, five four dominant seven. We don't have a nine in the two seven. Mm -hmm. So we could be doing this too. Right. So the fluctuating So the <laughs> soloists can go back and forth between minor and harmonic minor because there's only one note different between natural minor and one note different between natural minor. Yeah. So in this chart, we jump to the C harmonic minor for one chord and then back to the back to the one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking about the E flat minor seven, the next chord in the chart. What's that? E flat minor seven. Well, in the key of C minor, E flat is a major seven chord, isn't it? C minor? Look in the gray column. Right here. The gray, the gray column. C minor. C minor, E flat is a major seven chord, right? 
So e, e flat minor seven is, doesn't fit C minor scale, right? Uh -huh. So what do we do here? What's E flat minor seven? I don't know. <laughs> E flat minor seven doesn't belong to the key of E flat major or C minor, does it? Yeah, where did D flat come from? Yeah, whoa! It's like the key. You're in a bus, the bus driver starts honking at all the reindeer, right? Yep. Trying to get their attention. What happens to the reindeer? Yeah, they are. Okay, so E flat minor seven, then what? A flat, so, but he goes into F minor, right? Well, let's take a look. Okay, what's after E flat minor seven? A flat seven. A flat seven? Yeah. Then what? D flat major seven. Okay. Okay, here's how you analyze charts. You got this chord, you got this chord, and this chord sequentially, right? But when you're looking at jazz charts, you always look for these dominants. These are your these are your magnets because dominance has such a strong sound. What you want to no. uh, that's a dominant chord, right? And what we learned from years and years of studying music theory is that dominant chords are always going to be what chords? Five chords, right? Yeah. Everybody on the same page? Yes. Yeah. So that's a five. So now if that's the five, we go, aha, there's the five, so what's before that and what's after that? If this is the key of A flat, what key is the five, A flat of the five chord? A flat seven is the five chord. C minor. Okay, here's A flat seven. It's a five. So A flat. Oh, it's a D flat. D flat is a major scale, right? So it's a 5, 7, and D flat, right? Well, what's the next chord right after A flat 7? Uh-huh. There's our clue. It goes to the 1, right? That's a 1 chord right there, right? Well, if these two belong to the key of D flat, let's take a wild guess and let's try this one in the key of D flat. See what that one is in the key of D flat. It's the 2, huh? D flat. Now in jazz music, the most popular progression of all is the 251. In jazz music, that is that is it. That is 251, 251, 251, 25, 25, 25, 25. Every single jazz chart you're going to see here in 25. And then they jump into 2, 5, and minor. Those two modules comprise thousands of jazz tunes. Anybody have any questions that make sense on here? Now, if you guys are smart college students, you write all these notes on your on your lead sheets, like you do. That's how you study this stuff. That's being very studious. Two for us. Yeah. 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 Why are you going to be 
Seven, how many minor chords are there in a, in a major scale? You got the two chord, the three chord, and the sixth chord, right? So that can be the two chord in what key? G. G, right? It's the three chord in what key? <coughs> F. F, right? And that's the sixth chord in what key? G. Anybody confused about that? It's probably. Could be. Look at the key signature first. E minor. Uh huh. There's your first clue. <coughs> a minor. All right. What's what's after the A minor? D seven. D seven, right? Five. So it's a dominant seven chord. So it's a what? The five and A. A five. Okay. It says also a what? D seven is the what? And what other keys? Look at your, look at your uh, harmonic minor scale chord chart. Let's look at this one. So we have a dominant sevens can be the four chord in melodic minor. Or it can be the five chord in harmonic minor, right? So it can be the four chord in what? A, right? And it can be the five chord in G harmonic minor, right? So what's after the D7? G major 7. G major 7. So there's your one chord in G. Major seven can be a four chord in what? Major seven is a four in D, right? And it's a flat three in the key of melodic minor or harmonic minor, right? It's a flat three in the key of what? Two five one and G, right? Yeah. yeah. So two five one, two five one, two five one. Okay. So write two five one over the above the chord. Okay. Now, what's after the G? C major seven. C major seven, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, since we've established that we're in the key of G, what's the C major seven to the key of G? No four. Four, right?
Okay, then what? Uh, minus five. Seven. Then what? Uh, B7. B7. Okay, so here's your red flag. So this F sharp minor seven flat five in the key of G is what chord? It's not the key of G is a seven chord, right? No. Well, what do we have here? What's our famous progression? 2 5, right? So the B7 is a 5 of what? E. E, right? Okay. What follows the B7? E minor. E minor. Notice there's no 7 in here. So what do we got here? There's a 5 in E minor, right? I've never been to Rome. <laughs> so if this is a 7 in G, it's also a what? In the key, two. In the key of E minor. So 2. So we went to a two minor, a two five one in minor to go to the E minor. But we use this F sharp minor seven five five as a two chord in E minor, but it's also the seven chord in G major, right? So this chord is a pivot chord. It belongs to both scales, right? Mm -hmm. So what, why do they do that? So they transition. Because it's smooth, right? It's smooth to use one chord that belongs to one key and it belongs to another key. You can go into that next key. It's like somebody opening a door and you're walking through it going, wow, it's really nice in this room. And you go back in this room and go, but wait, this room is nice too. <laughs> Both rooms are nice. This, this transitions from one room to the next. So we got two, five, one, four, seven. Go ahead, Annie. So, so the F sharp would be the two in the relative minor, but you start with the two instead of the one. So you're saying like F, the F sharp. sharp. F sharp is the two chord oh. in the key of what? Um, e, 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 e minor, right? Yeah, E minor. Right. So E minor is the relative minor of G. Mm -hmm. Okay. This belongs to the key of G and E minor, right? Yeah. Okay. But this five chord is dominant. Okay, that's so that throws it into a more of a harmonic minor scale. But we're still thinking E minor. But E minor and E harmonic minor, these guys go back and forth between rooms. E minor and E harmonic minor, they play back and forth all the time. Jazz guys just all over the place. Chromatic. Chromatic, right? Sorry, Donovan. If you don't know the scales, just play chromatic, right? Yeah. Everything at once. Yeah, everything at once. Okay, so this is the start of how we look at jazz tunes, okay? We only got what, five minutes left? Wanna try one more tune? Or we wanna keep going on this one. We got more chords. What do we got after this? B7, E minor, F sharp flat five, B7, flat nine. Same thing, right? It repeats. It repeats. Then what? Back to A7, G minor 7. Okay, that's the same thing, right? Repeats, right? D7, G minor. Okay, now, second line from the bottom. What do we got there? We see. B7 flat 9, right? Second line from the bottom. Second line from the bottom. Second line. You get a D minor 7. Yeah, okay. We got F sharp minus seven flat five, which is a two chord, right? And the B seven, we've got the flat nine in there. Now look on your scale chart that has the harmonic minors on. What do we got there? All right. So if we go to the five chord harmonic minor, the five chord harmonic minor on this chart. Is what? Five seven five nine, right? So there's there there's the nail 
that nails it down to being a harmonic minor, right? That the two five in harmonic minor, isn't it? Yeah. So we got F sharp minor seven flat five to a B seven flat nine. Okay, now here's what we got here. Then it goes E minor seven, E flat seven, D minor seven, D flat seven. What's that? E minor seven is what? E minor 7 is the 2 chord in D, D right? And it's the 6 chord in G, right? Right. Alright. So we got a progression that's going down. Look at the root movement. E to E flat to D to D flat to C to B, right? Yeah. What kind of movement is that? It's a chromatic progression, right? Mm -hmm. So this falls into another room in the building, another kind of animal. So we got E minor 7, now it goes to a D flat 7, we do a D minor 7, and a D flat. So there's four different keys there. Ooh, going back and forth. Yeah? Okay. And then it resolves on a C major 7, but then it goes to the 5 7 and C harmonic minor, back to E minor. So this is just one jazz tune, okay? So you see that chromatic progression? They don't all belong to the same key, each one of those chords belongs to a different key. So since each chord belongs to a different key, each chord, you play a different scale over it. So that's the art and the craft of the jazz improviser is to be able to leapfrog from chord to chord, even though the scales are changing as you go by. If you're trying to make a smooth, melodic note that sounds like music, instead of some jagged thing. So that's the craft of the improviser. That's why these guys spend their lives playing over these kinds of aggression, because the best, the smoothest guy wins, right? Okay, let's go to this. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's like this little division symbol is just saying that it's the same chord as before. Yeah, sorry. That's on, I don't know, let me show you. Repeat. Okay, so that just means you stay in that chord for a minute. Yeah, repeat for a chord. All right, Friday we're going to meet out in the keyboard lab. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for coming today. This, was this helpful? Yeah. 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 Did we, can I move the Okay. Uh, I'm going to be Yeah, it's good. By the way, the book is good for and Harmony 3 and Harmony 4. Okay. Both semesters. It comes and goes over a two semester period, although you get a payout drop there. That's fine. I just want to make sure I need it. Some colleges have book vouchers. Where you go to the financial aid, you need a book voucher, you buy it, you give your slip to take the bookstore? No, we just don't. And then you, then you can buy your books, and then it just depends on who goes on your bill, and then you can actually pay the bill or you can actually take the payments. That's cool. Good job, Spencer. Are you going to start that? Big bucks, alright. Get a book voucher. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Right. Yeah, I'm not thinking really. Oh, right. I got out this morning. I think we're at eight. I get a jury. Oh, the other one. Two Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah, I know that. I know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
collective or is like the upper division? <laughs> Music Theory 1, how do I own? Yeah. I told Michael.